Hey guys, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to be comparing the iPhone 11 Pro here that we have against the iPhone SE 2020 edition or the second edition that came out last year. In this video, we're going to talk about the overall differences between these phones. We're going to look at the hardware, the software, and everything you need to know in terms of performance and whether you should be getting the, the iPhone SE 2020 edition or the 11 Pro, we're gonna break all of that down for you guys in this video. But before we go ahead and get started with today's video, if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you guys are in the market to buy one of the newer phones or looking to upgrade to a phone at a discounted price, make sure you guys check out the link in the description section as well. So let's go ahead and get started with today's video. As you can see here, we have the product red edition of the iPhone SE and the space gray edition of the iPhone 11 Pro. And you see these boxes that they come in are slightly, you know, about the same. As you see here, they have the same sort of build and box, but we're not gonna do all of that. Make sure you guys check out the unboxing video for more in detail boxing of the iPhone itself. So here, as you can see, we're gonna first take a look at the physical differences of these iPhones. As you see here, the iPhone SE came out in April of 2020, and the iPhone 11 Pro came out in September 2019 so almost six months difference between these devices a lot of critics have said that the iPhone SE actually is pretty much like a rebuild of the iPhone 8 with a faster chip that's about it of course the iPhone 11 Pro is the newer design and it's what Apple has released and the big difference between these phones uh, is the price point that you're gonna notice you're paying almost a thousand dollar for the 60 4 gig model of the 11 Pro versus only $400, $399 for the iPhone SE. And the thing about both of these phones is that they have the same chip inside of it, the A13 chip with the third generation of a neural chip on these phones. So that's the big thing is that both of these are different price but has the same chipset and that's going to be a break point and when we go and talk a little bit more about it of course between these two devices we see here a lot of things are about the same you'll notice just the physically the iphone 11 pro has a bigger size compared to the iphone se and so it's a little bit heavier you know you're looking at around over six ounce or so this one's a little over five ounce so one ounce a little bit over one ounce difference between the phone but that's because you have a bigger body phone they both do have the back glass on it that allows them to do wireless charging the other noticeable difference of course here as you can see you have one megapixel camera versus that triple action for that three triple megapixel camera here also the other thing to note about these phones as you see here we have on these devices or its body frame they're about same sort of design you have that rounded edge the bezel here on the iphone 11 pro is the shinier version where the bezel on the sc is more aluminum both of our which as you see here the differences are if you take a look at the stereo speaker both of them does have stereo grade speaker the iphone sc has more speaker in the bottom versus the iphone 11 pro which has a fewer of those that we see here and then let's talk about the actual body in terms of the front screen as you see here between these phones of course the big difference you see is all screen versus the iphone 8 here iphone sc here as you see that has that top notch and the physical button the home button that have touch id with the iphone 11 pro as you know here that is all face id so that's one thing you'll notice between these phone of course that makes a big difference in terms of the size here so if we take a look at it for a minute here as you see here the iphone sc here that we have almost those top notch and the physical button makes a lot of difference and it's a, it makes a difference in terms of the size between the lcd screen that we have here the iphone se actually has a 4.7 retina hd widescreen lcd with ips technology the same screen that they use on the iphone 8 where the iphone 11 pro the reason why it starts at that thousand dollar mark is this oled display it has that 5.8 
diagonal all screen super retina xdr display that display here is what apple claims to who have increased the price of the iphone 11 pro to a thousand dollars and the other piece besides that it's that it has that hdr display to it it's more brighter than the iphone se display you almost have 1200 nit versus only 625 so almost double the amount of nit and that's the brightness that you see that really makes a difference when you're outside in the bright sunlight and the other thing to notice about these two phones are that the resolution here the iphone 11 pro has a 24 or 36 by 1125 pixel resolution with a 458 ppi versus the iphone a iphone se as i kept on mentioning 8 because it has the similar build resolution as the 8 is 1334 by 750 pixel as well the other noticeable difference is the actual the contrast on it you get almost 2 million to 1 contrast ratio on the iphone 11 pro versus only a 1400 to 1 ratio so those are the noticeable difference in terms of the display for yourself as you can see here the display all body display versus the notch and much more let's talk about the other feature of these phones or it's water and dust resistibility on these two phones so what kind of things can you expect in terms of that so the iphone 11 pro of course has a better resistivity because of upgraded body design and such you have four meters up to 30 minute versus one meter with the iphone se at 30 30 minute so why is that well that's because you know apple has upgraded the hardware and such but one thing to note between that four meter versus one meter you're not going to see a lot going on if you're taking the phone for a dive of course if the screen is cracked and or the back is cracked back glass is cracked which is really easy for these glass if you don't have a durable case on it if that is compromised by any way you're water resistivity is going to be broken and it doesn't really make sense so you do want to be careful whenever you guys are taking these phones for a dive that nothing on the phone is damaged or cracked on these devices the other thing we mentioned want to mention on these phone is the battery life of it so what kind of battery life can you expect from the iphone 11 pro versus the iphone 8 well there's going to be a noticeable difference because the iphone 11 pro is an upgraded model it has a bigger body to it it has a bigger battery so if we talk about the battery life we want to talk about the video playback the iphone 11 pro has an 18 hour video playback compared to the iphone se which has the same size battery as the iphone 8 it gets you around 13 hours of video playback so five hour difference what does that really mean with the iphone 11 pro if you're a light to medium user you can pretty much go out throughout the whole day with single full charge or the iphone 8 if you're a light to medium user you might get three-fourths of the way but if you're a light user for example you're using it for calling and texting light user browsing opening apps in there you might get through the whole day but if you're on the heavier side using it constantly you might not get through the full day with the iphone SE. so that's the thing that you want to note between the battery life of these phones so let's talk about the other aspect of what iPhone makes the iPhone great is its camera so what kind of camera can you expect out of the iPhone SE and the iPhone 11 Pro so we're going to go ahead open up the camera here to show you guys of course in photography mode right as the bat as you can see here the iPhone 11 Pro that ultra wide angle comes in play you see by default here we're able to go and narrow down and zoom in that feature isn't available on the iPhone SE here we have but nonetheless it's still able to take some really great picture both of this both of these camera allow you to do portrait mode photography which is impressive for these camera because portrait mode really just enhances that whole experience between these phones you're able to do natural lighting and all those lightings that you get that makes portrait really just awesome on these phones the other thing to note is that with the triple lens megapixel versus one you're going to get a lot out of the iphone 11 pro the video recording of course both of these phones surprisingly can record 
the same sort of video quality. You start at, at, at the lower end and you go up to 4K. So if we go into settings here and take a look at the actual camera settings, if we can find it here and go to camera, you'll notice for the camera setting on this phone, they both go up from 720 HD at 30 frames per second all the way to 4K, which surprisingly isn't surprising considering that the iPhone SE came out later, six months after the iPhone 11 Pro. So you see in terms of your video quality, you're going to get the same sort of video recording. Of course, the iPhone, both of the iPhones have that smoother quality. Of course, the, the zoom and that visual wide angle on the iPhone 11 Pro makes it slightly better than the iPhone SE. And let's talk about the software itself. So both of the phones actually come in with iOS 13 already installed. And here, as you can see, we have upgraded to iOS 14 on both of the phones and they work phenomenal on iOS 14. We haven't seen any issues between these phones running iOS 14. As you see, both of the phones are able to do a lot of your social media. As you saw, we opened up Facebook, no issue here, all of that. All of those apps, Twitter, Instagram, anything you use nowadays for your social media, it's going to open up, no issue. Your TikTok apps, as you see, all of that is just popping up on the fly, no issue, because they have the same chip, guys. That's one thing you want to take note of if you're comparing these phones, is that both of them have powerful chip. The only thing you're going to notice is the display, right? Display between these, these two phones or probably the biggest difference that you notice on these phones is you have a bigger body with a full display of OLED versus that 4.7 display. So of course, that's going to make a lot of difference, especially around things like if you're watching movies and such, you have that full body display versus only a 4.7 display. But nonetheless, it's able to do phenomenal streaming if you're using it for YouTube video streaming, or if you're using it for even for music, because they both have built-in studio devices, they're they're gonna have premium quality whenever you're listening to music and such. And nonetheless, it's it's just a phenomenal phone. If even if you're using it for multitasking, if you're using it for things such as your banking, your editing stuff, your reading, or so things like that, your daily apps on both of the phones, we have tested it. There's no issues that we have seen between these phones when we're using it for all of the basic stuff that you would use on and such that, you know, all of this for shopping, all, anything you name it out here, as you can see, we're able to update, get those updates that we need on this phone without any issues. And surprisingly, we think that both of the phones are going to get the same amount of iOS. So, the, and how long is that going to be? So, we expect both of the phones to get at least another three to four years of major update. And that's one thing you'll notice with the phones because they're such new phones, six months apart. Most likely, Apple will support them about the same time between these two phones. You're not going to notice too much going on on these phones. So there you guys have it for a review of these two phones. Hopefully this video is helpful for anyone looking to buy these phones. Our final conclusion of these phone is that both of these phones are great phones, even in 2021. Of course, the iPhone 11 Pro does have better camera and a better display, bigger display. But aside that, both of them in terms of performance wise, the hardware and such, are pretty similar and the cost is going to be what's going to determine probably whatever you decide on going are you willing to pay around half the price for the iPhone SE or are you looking to get a better camera and better display and pay that $1,000 mark so it's all up to you whatever you guys decide but that's a review of the iPhone SE versus the iPhone 11 Pro in 2021. Hopefully this video is helpful. If this video is helpful, please make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.